So it was uh, September 2011, and my buddy Jeff and I found ourselves in, uh, in a park in Edinburgh, right, on, like right beneath Edinburgh Castle. And in Scotland? In Scotland, yes. As opposed to Edinburgh, Illinois, which has no castle. We were in Edinburgh, Scotland, which does have a castle. And um, Jeff, Jeff and I were doing a, doing a little bit of songwriting together, and I said, Jeff, let's write a song about like the most Scottish character we could come up with. And I was like, Robert Burns? And I said, no. And he said, Sean Connery? And I said, no. And he's like, well, what, what are you thinking of? And I said, well, I got this, I, I got this name going through my head. I think the most Scottish person ever is this guy named Haggis McMuffin, and we should write a song about him. He's like, dude, it's your wedding anniversary. We gotta write a love song. So quit screwing around. So, so we, we wrote a love song uh, about a guy named Haggis McMuffin. Um, and, uh, well, anyway, uh, a funny thing happened. I was uh, being a professional geek, as opposed to a nerd, just so you guys understand the difference. A nerd is somebody who collects a lot of useless information that does not get them paid. A geek is somebody who collects a lot of mildly useful information that does get them paid. But the usefulness is probably up for debate. It depends on you know, what sort of company you're in. So being a professional geek, um, as I was uh, coming down to open mic tonight, I googled Haggis McMuffin just to see if I was the number one hit. And I am, but it turns out that the number two hit, yes? You do that while you were driving, didn't you? No. The number two hit was like some Twitter user named Juan Like Hell, <laughs> whose handle is Haggis McMuffin. So it's, I found it really, you know, oddly satisfying that my, my song like burst some other character in the world. So anyway, um, you're about to learn a lot about the most Scottish man ever. <clears throat> um, and it's a country song, even though we wrote it in Edinburgh, because we'd spent the day sitting in this Scottish pub, but they were playing Johnny Cash on the radio, and we were just in a Johnny Cash kind of mood. So anyway, um, I don't write country very well, so it's kind of like this, uh, this perverted, dilapidated country song. Haggis McMuffin loves his whiskey in the morning more than a squirrel loves his nuts. I like the sweet potato fries and lucky platter, but I love you more. There's a castle on the hill. There's a spaceship in the sky. Take my hand before the king of fools declares the end. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. Now at this point in the songwriting process, the song was still an A, but then the most Scottish thing ever happened. Um, this bagpiper shows up in the park, and he starts playing these bagpipe songs, and if you know anything about the Scottish bagpipe, you'll know that it's tuned to the key of B, or just slightly south of B. And if Jeff and I were going to write this song, it was going to have to be modulated into a different key. Romeo and what's her face were briefly lovers. Ahab and Moby had a thing. Mulder and Scully have been Valentines for ages. By the way, I'm really conflicted about the fact that they're bringing the X Files back. I think they should have left well enough alone. Mulder and Scully have been Valentines for ages. You and I are longer still. There's a castle on the hill. There's a spaceship in the sky. Take my hand before the king of fools declares the end. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. My country solo. There's a castle on the hill. There's a spaceship in the sky. Take my hand before the king of fools declares the end. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. I will love you always, even when there are no zip codes or Wi-Fi on demand. 
There's a spaceship on the hill. There's a castle in the sky. You see what I did there? Take my hand before the king of fools declares the end. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. 